Welcome to TLH Patterns. In today's video, let's see how to crochet this small bag or a purse to carry your mobile phone around. This bag measures about 7.5 inches wide and 6.5 uh, inches high, not including the handle. You will need about 110 to 115 meters of uh, medium worsted weight yarn or category 4 yarn. Then you will need a 4 mm crochet hook. Along with it, you will also need uh, 4 stitch markers, a yarn needle, measuring tape and a large sized button. Let's start making the bag. First make a slip knot and then make 24 chains. Now we'll start the first round. Make a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Then work single crochet in each chain across except the last. Now I have the last chain left. Into this chain you will work 3 single crochets. Then from this side you will work single crochet in each of the next 21 chains. After completing 21 stitches, finally in the next space, work 2 single crochets. This is where you had worked your first single crochet. This completes your first round. You will have 48 stitches in the first round. Let's continue with the second round. Work 2 single crochets in the next stitch. Place a marker in the first stitch. To identify the first stitch of the round because we are not joining at the end of each round. So I worked two single crochets in the first stitch and then work single crochets in each of the next 21 stitches. Then work 2 single crochets in each of the next 3 stitches. These are the 3 single crochets that we worked into the last chain. So into each stitch work 2 single crochets. Then work 1 single crochet in each of the next 21 stitches. Then 
then work two single crochets in the next two stitches in this round you will have 54 stitches we will begin the third round remove the stitch marker and work one single crochet in the next stitch place the marker this is the first stitch of the third round then work two single crochets in the next stitch then work single crochets in the next 21 stitches then one single crochet in the next stitch two single crochets in the next stitch repeat this two more times one single crochet in the next stitch two in the next again one single crochet in the next stitch and then two single crochets in the next stitch this will be followed by single crochets in the next 21 stitches then single crochet in the next stitch two single crochets in the next stitch again single crochet in the next stitch and two single crochets in the last stitch in this round you will have 60 stitches in the next round you will work single crochet in each stitch around so you will have 60 stitches This will form the base of your bag. At the end of this round, you will join the last stitch with a slip stitch to the first single crochet. Then we'll start the body of the bag. Work three chains. This will count as the first double crochet then work two double crochets in the same stitch skip the next two stitches and then work three double crochets in the next stitch skip the next two stitches and then work three double crochets in the next stitch you will repeat this around
at the end you will join with a slip stitch to the first stitch which is the three chains that you worked at the beginning make a slip stitch this is the fifth round and then the sixth and seventh rounds are a single crochet in each stitch start with chain one and then work single crochet in each stitch around the first one will be made at the top of the three chains that is your first stitch and then work single crochet in rest of the stitches around Now join with a slip stitch in the first single crochet. Chain 1 and then work single crochet in each stitch around. join with the slip stitch in the first single crochet that's it you will be repeating the last three rounds four more times that is the double crochet round and the two single crochet rounds in the next round we'll work the handles for that you measure two inches from both the ends and place markers And this is the front side and similarly place two markers on the back side also. Let's continue working the next round. Chain 1 and work single crochet in each stitch up to the stitch marker. Work single crochet in the stitch where you had placed the marker. Then make 18 chains. Then work a single crochet in the stitch where you had placed the next stitch marker. Single crochet in rest of the stitches up to the next stitch marker on the other side. Single crochet in the stitch where you had placed the marker followed by chain 18. Single crochet in the stitch where you place the next marker and single crochet in rest of the stitches.
then join with the slip stitch to the first single crochet then in the last round you will work single crochet in each stitch and in each chain around work one single crochet in each chain Join with a slip stitch in the first single crochet and cut the yarn off. This is the back side. Sew a button to the front of the bag. Thread yarn through your yarn needle. Place the button in between the handle and then uh, sew it. Weave in both the ends of yarn. On the back side of the bag, right behind the button, join yarn and work enough chains to go around the button. When you have made enough chains, slip stitch in the next stitch and cut the yarn off. And then you can weave in all the loose ends. The bag is now ready. I hope you like this pattern. If you did so, please click the thumbs up button. Thank you.